roguelike road trip. But you know what we could do instead? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> interested in Cuphead's DLC at all? I really like Cuphead. Maybe. I mean, we could slap it onto a random day at some point. What's this? This is RuneScape 3, which is like old school RuneScape, but better. So, I have clicked on a lot of things on this beach recently. You can tell. By the numbers that are on the page, I have done some stupid shit. It wasn't worship the hole. Nobody gives a shit about the hole. But well, everyone apparently gives a shit about the hole. But what I had was uh, I have learned to farm. I have become some degree of proficient in farming by picking up a bunch of coconuts and putting them in the pile of coconuts. How that teaches me about the concept of farming? Don't know. Fucking irrelevant. I have played a shitty Carnival Midway game with a hook on a stick and a bunch of little rubber ducks in a trough, which has made me a fucking spectacular wilderness survivalist for some reason. Uh, I have also built a fuck ton of sandcastles. That is, I have 42 construction. And it is 100% sandcastles. I have never built anything. I have never owned a plank. I do not have a house. <laughs> but I have built some mean fucking sand castles. So I have 42 construction now. Uh, what else have we done? I think that's that's the bulk of it, more or less. Got a bit more cooking, and uh, one thing I did go off and do is I figured it would be beneficial. Oh, and my music is muted because I was just playing it on the other monitor while I did work. So let me unmute the music. As I caught a bunch of fish and I tried, we had a concept, we had an idea, it was a good idea to do the really slow parts of archaeology, like theoretically off stream, but I don't think that works. <laughs> I think I have to interact with the skill. Uh, I feel like I am extremely gated. I am, I am clearly only getting daggers and light crossbows. I'm clearly only getting these two things. I think I have run enough clinical trials to establish that until I progress the skill in some way, I'm only going to get these two things. So I can't really do that. <laughs> I have a bunch of fish. So that's cool. Music's odd. It's just ridiculously quiet. Can I turn it down also? This looks right. Did I turn it down in the volume mixer? Because I was I know I muted it in the volume mixer and I was doing something earlier. No. Maybe this music's just incredibly quiet. It does seem really quiet. So it's not just me, it is in fact extremely quiet. It might just be a really quiet track. If we go anywhere else and I blow everyone's fucking headphones out, I'm really sorry. Right. So I lost my archaeology journal. Um. I don't know. So, I was doing the thing. Put this with my huge stack of ice cream in my bank. I was doing the thing. Hoping that maybe if I did enough archaeology, I would get, you know, something that aren't the item that I've restored and uh, the second item without having to restore more items that didn't work but I had the journal and I was teleporting back and forth between the dig site and the place where the sand filter thingy is and I right clicked the teleport with the book and I saw put in pocket I was like what the fuck does that mean and I now I don't have a journal anymore <laughs> and I don't now how'd I get another one? I don't know. It's not on my tool belt. I looked on my tool belt. That was also my first thought. But I checked. 
I have like archaeology tools down here, but it's just literally a thing called archaeology tools and then a matic. And I don't know how to get another one. That's fine because we can walk. I can walk with my legs. That's right there. Wentz. What the fuck you mean right there? Don't do this to me. I looked for this shit for like five minutes and it gave up. Because it wasn't, didn't exist. It's equipped. Oh my god. I found it. I found my archaeology journal. Don't worry, I found my archaeology journal. We have apparently pocket is a slot. Pocket is a slot in your gear. Did you guys know the pocket is a slot in your gear? That's where your pocket is. It's next to your head. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. I've been walking to the dig site because I just assumed it was gone forever and I did something stupid. Um, fucking, I hate everything. I'm a, I'm a little upset. Okay. I have a pretty good amount of these because I've been digging up a bunch of shit. Uh, so I guess I'm going to restore a light crossbow. And I assume that will let me fucking advance the video game. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Do you want this crossbow? I have a crossbow for Christmas. Wait, don't you want this? What are you collecting? Oh, I have to go into this weird menu. Let's go to fucking... Col okay, you can right-click collection. Here's a better to like crossbow. Thank you for your funny box. I appreciate you. Okay. I would love to restore another one of each of these and give them to the guy in Varok, but I still don't know where he is. Uh, I have... I looked. I spent some more time looking. I didn't find him. There's a sun next to my helmet. That is my auras, which are a thing that I have on account of I discovered there's a currency called loyalty points, apparently, and I had like 700,000 of them, and I asked in Discord, what the, is, it, what, is there anything super cool I should buy with these? And everyone's like, buy auras and buy cool outfits. And I was like, okay. So I bought cool outfits and I bought auras. So I did what chat said, and now I have those things. Um, I do have, like, a decent pile of outfits now. Most of them I just bought because they were 1,000, and I had literally 700,000, so I, what do they do? Um, makes my dwarf cannon shoot beer, squids, and brains. Apparently. Or summons party Pete to distract my foe. Or prevents you from failing obstacles if I'm on an agility course. That one sounded like it'd be really good, so I got that one. Um, this one sounded kind of cool. Crops don't ever get diseased. Sound like it was pretty good. Um, this just, I was curious what it gives you glowing wings was. Uh, this is just, I'm better at robbing people. And this one is poison fucking heals me instead of damaging me, which also seemed like this. They did it. They made Karamja tolerable. I found the thing that makes Karamja tolerable. So they're like little buffs, I guess. I, they kind of, they feel like the sort of thing that are not going to do anything on an Iron Man, but they let me buy them. So... Like, surely they know the the account is a single character, right? An account is one character. That's how RuneScape works. So I would like to believe they wouldn't have let me purchase them if they didn't do anything. That said, this is Jagex. It's totally possible they would let me buy something that straight up does nothing. Uh, Absolutely. That would be, in fact, peak Jagex, if anything. So while I was digging over here, I also dug this out. I have not gone in yet, obviously. But... Digging out the fort entrance was just, like, 
six minutes of staring at a wall while the sand slowly went down. But it's open now. I kind of want to turn one out now just to see what it says. See if it tells me to like go fuck off and die. Okay, hypothetically. Has to replace the purge. Activate. No, I can totally use them. It makes my hand glow. Okay, no, I can totally use them. I didn't expect that to work. I thought they might have like a visual effect as well, and I guess it does. I thought they might also have a visual effect and on an Iron Man, it would just be the visuals, but no, it looks like I get the buff. So if I'm gonna like level pickpocketing, I can turn on just 7% more pickpocketing chance. Cool. Solid. Literally can't fail. Agility obstacles. Seems like it's really good for doing agility courses. Anyway, I don't know what the fuck this is. We're gonna go inside. All right, now to open this. How do I open? Okay, well, I wouldn't have done anything even if I had clicked on it, apparently. <laughs> well, there you go. In case anyone is doubting that I... Is it, is it weird that I constantly worry that people think I'm, like, bullshitting about blind playthroughs? I've been doing this shit for 10 years, and I still constantly have that voice in the back of my head that's like, nobody fucking believes you. You, you obviously... Especially when I stumble into insane shit. I'm like, everyone's gonna think I just looked this up. Every, I'm like, everyone's gonna think I just went in here and I already checked and saw what it was. And like, so I knew it was something. So I could do what I'd be doing on stream. And like, when it's, I feel like it's clear and obvious that that's never what happens. Because I couldn't even fucking use the door. Is it weird that my stupid brain hole still tells me that all the time? All right, inside, you're going to need that seal. Ready for storing first, there's a little damaged. Have a seal. Okay. Well, I have a bunch of crap and I hope it's enough crap. I would like to restore the seal, please. Uh, what are you? Sent your centurion seal. It's not any of these things. I can definitely do it. Is it miscellaneous? Oh, it's a miscellaneous. Okay, there you go. Restores. I kind of assumed it would be Zerosian because that's this whole dig site is Zerosian. Whatever. I'm upset about how much XP I get for restoring things because I got to like level 16. I think I can do one more of each of these and try to go find the guy in Varrock. Got level 16 by actually just slowly fucking brushing shit. There's a letter from the archaeology guild's been placed in your backpack. I'm literally like, fuck. What? Four more third age iron. I want to find that fucking dude in Varrock. Is what I want to do. So a YouTuber sold the jellyfish on Giant's Deep first visit. Outer Wilds. I was like, what the fuck are we talking about? Outer Wilds. We're talking about Outer Wilds. I figured it out. Don't worry. I got there. I'd like to solve the puzzle. He's talking about Outer Wilds. I, I want like four iron. And I'm going to go find the guy in Varric. If I find the guy in Varric, I'm going to be like, chat, where the fuck is this dude? I'm going to play it and tell me, well, there's a quick eyeball poll of chat. Those of you who are around, who were around when I played old school RuneScape. Obviously, not even just for that, those of you who've been here around forever, I play shit hella fucking blind. I ask for nothing. I've been stumped on quests for months that I could not progress just because I didn't know what the fuck they wanted me to do. Because they gave me either no clear instructions or a hilariously vague puzzle or I just was too stupid to put words together in my head. So, for Silverdust, we, we had Silverdust for probably like a full year. I couldn't figure out how to do Mauritania Medium because I didn't know how to get Silverdust. I tried fucking everything. Clearly not everything, because I didn't get it. But I tried everything but the correct thing. 
I was planning on playing RuneScape 3 a little bit less strict on the blinders. Not that, like, people can backseat and stuff, but something like this, where there is a second guy I can turn into uh, Zerosi and Artifacts to, who looks like he unlocks a cool, cool power from the Archaeology Guild. I have spent probably an aggregate 40 minutes walking around Varric, just trying to fucking find this guy. Because there is the only direction is Varric. And there is one word, and it's Varric. And I'm I am bored of doing that now. I like We did most of it on stream. I walked through the whole fucking city, mousing over people trying to find this dude. Like in a situation like that, I'm just gonna ask where the fuck is this dude? Like I tried. Like I fucking tried. What do you guys think? I'm not asking, like, I, I want to about waiter. I'm asking, do you think that would make for a more entertaining stream? Is it funnier to watch me be locked out of content for eight months because I can't find an NPC that the game doesn't tell me where they are? Or is it more entertaining to watch me, like, make progress? and not just be stuck. Because half of the point of the blind RuneScape playthrough is the fact that I'm doing everything in what I'm sure is the most hilariously wrong way possible. And that's entertaining. And yeah, the epiphany moment is really good. I'm not gonna use it on a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna use it on, I don't know, what, what feels like little things. Like this doesn't feel like it's a big deal. There's a guy, the board gives me a location. It's just, it clearly feels like it's just supposed to be a guy that I walk up to and turn the shit into. And we have tried. I, and, and I could even go do like one more walk around Varric and probably not fucking find him because I've done like three already and then say, fuck it. Blood wiener, where the hell is this guy? It's not like I'm not going to try. But like after a certain point, I'm going to say, okay. Like we're literally just walking around Varric doing nothing. We're walking around Varric in an actual fucking circle. Because I want to do this thing, and I just literally don't know where this NPC is. Who would like to move on now? <laughs> also, what the Oslo Master said, it is it is a, just a fact of life that I will not see a huge chunk of the content in this game if I don't ever ask about it. Although I would have said that about Song of the Elves, too. And then we ended up doing Song of the Elves, so... Maybe not. Alright, I'll come back here in a sec. We're going to Varric. I'm going to find this fucking dude. Or I'm going to... Give up and ask chat. I'm going to do it. I'm going to believe. Chat, this is it. This is the moment. All the blind sniffing. Sometimes he finds things no one but him has seen. That has come up a lot of times. Like, the fact that... The one that really... I remember this because it was a guy in-game. Who was talking to me and said, what the fuck are you doing? Um, when I found out that you can make your cats kill baby cow fights. I think I'm gonna turn roofs off for this. I'm gonna, we're gonna, I hate having roofs off because it looks bad. What the fuck would that be under? Please tell me I can, please tell me I can turn roofs off. No. Oh no. Can you not turn your off in Runescape 3? I swear to god I've seen it. Oh, it's under graphics. Why is there an always and an all? What is the what is the difference between always and all? Remove roofs. No, sometimes yes and yes plus. What? What is the difference? Well, that didn't do anything. What the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, so all is when I go inside, it hides every roof. Is always, always, okay, always, okay, okay, okay. All is when you go inside a building, all roofs are removed. 
like uh, old school RuneScape style. I did notice it only removed the roof off of the building I walked into, which is interesting. Okay, there was actually a difference. Okay, so we're looking for... I don't even know the dude's name. I'm <laughs> we're looking for... I should probably know who I'm looking for. Let me go read this sign book. I don't remember who I'm... I'm pretty sure he's purple as fuck. Sorry, whoever is following me, I know. I'm not trying to ditch you, I just don't even know the fuck. It's a super fucking purple guy, right? He's a purple demon. Like, location, Varric. He's a purple fucking demon. Hold on, I just had a brain blast. I just had a Jimmy Neutron brain blast. He's upstairs in the castle, isn't he? I've looked through the whole fucking city. Several times. I definitely have not had the thought. But like, I have not caved into going upstairs. Because, like, upstairs is just where dreams go to die. That's him. I'm gonna be fucking upstairs. I'm mad. How the fuck did I miss this dude on and off stream? How did I, how? How did I do that? How is that even, he's just literally fucking in the street. He's just in the fucking road. Tackling madly to himself. We're having a stroke and he desperately needs an ambulance. One of the two. Not before we begin. You're here to talk to me in my role as a Zerosian emissary, my role as an archaeology collector. Do you Are you bipolar? Are they Are they different people? I, yes, hello, I'd like to talk to Soren, the archaeologist. Very well. Let us discuss archaeology. What the fuck is wrong with you? Does it contribute all that? What is wrong with this guy? Okay, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see that on... What the fuck are these? Dungeoneering tokens. Player points. They're literally tackle. I was going to say Dungeoneering tackle, but the Jakindo favor. Reaper points. Rune span. I thought that just said runescape points. Pilfer... I want to find the thieving guild so bad. I don't know where it is. Okay, close this, thank you. Fuck, I mean, it hit that. Miss Sandley, I'm well aware people generally don't view me with fondness. I'm in need of your services at the Infernal Source dig site by the Jolly Boar Inn. Both an archaeologist and a bodyguard. Dave, Darv, my last bodyguard, wants to avoid anything even remotely connected with Surak Magus. Their past discoveries are spectacular. I hear you found, like, Five knives in the ground one time. Together we shall achieve greatness. Okay. I heard about that time you dug up like an entire brace of knives. One at a time, extremely slowly. How many things do I have? That's not... Wait, why did this stop being the money button? Oh, wait, where's the money button? What happened to the money button? Why is it the Aura's button now? Okay, whatever. I'll just go talk to the guy. Oh, because I'm that's in skill. Ha ha ha, I figured it out. I have 824. Did I buy anything cool with 824? League of Legends character. No. I mean, yes, but like, no. I don't even know what I would want. I don't like that these all say temporarily. I'm gonna be upset if I buy one of these and they're fucking consumable. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fucking mad. I'm gonna be so mad if I buy one of these for two thousand fucking fun bucks and it's a fucking consumable. Okay. Anyway, 
I'm gonna take the seal and we're gonna go do seal stuff. Oh, I'm going over here. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Don't make fun of me. Don't bully me. My brain is very small. Perfectly rounded. Projects all attempts by newfound knowledge to intrude upon the sanctum that is my mind. What's in this port? I wanna go see cool stuff. This guy has a rainbow halo. Okay. Hold the seal up to the wall. I solved one of Gilinor's greatest mysteries. Apparently, and I leveled up twice. Um, 22 Arcadilogy. Yeah. Ah, it was an Imperial Steel Cache. Nice. I can just get... I've never used a Material Cache yet. Ancient Gravel. Ooh. Lots of stuff down here. This is fucking fancy. Okay, hello. What are we doing? Imagine what we could discover here. I'm so excited about the history of this place. Glad we could talk. Glad you're here. Ooh. Ancient magic buttons. Hi, I'm Liam. You seen this weird fucking door? I was under something missing from the wall behind me. Uh, probably some sort of dial like the other three. I'm searching for a missing dial. He's trying to excavate this shit. Maybe you'll find a car we can get in. Hey, archaeology's cool as fuck. Wait, it's later. Oh. Did that say? You need to earn the assistant qualification where you can manage a research team. The rest of the insignia. Okay, so now I can get the materials. What the fuck is this? It was like a sigil on the wall. Like a little agility man. There's a little agility man on the wall. What does a little agility man on the wall mean? This is a cool fucking skill. Like, I was just absolutely 100% like, you were right, chat. This skill is fucking cool. I can go down here? How big is this fucking area? Urge pylon? Any batteries? What the fuck? <laughs> what are we fucking doing? There's so many ancient travels. Pontifex barrier. And not the Pope. Yeah, I'm not the Pope. I can't go through the Pope shield. Power shadowing. What the fuck? Dude, this is fuck. Okay. Okay. This is going to be my life forever now. My life for ire based on the pylons, but archaeology is where I was going to go with it. Um, first things first. I guess... We start here. Zero's effigy, Zerosian training dummy. What the hell? I was probably just went fucking crazy. Give my soil bark. Find some light oak? I don't think any of these are gonna be the dial though. This is rabbit hole inducing. This is extremely fucking rabbit hole inducing. This is ridiculous. There's so much stuff. Okay. None of those things sound like a dial, though. Zero's effigy, maybe? What's in here? Ooh. Ooh. I'm so fucking sorry for old school players that are just never gonna get dope fucking content like this because they will. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go back upstairs. Okay. Because they will straight up just never have a new skill. They're just gonna be like. 
sad standing outside the bank clicking on fleshing materials for the rest of their dumb little lives. It was me. I was the old school RuneScape player. I feel sorry for. I feel sorry for myself. <laughs> I'm playing that much fucking time in old school. Playing Mahogany Homes contracts like a fucking loser instead of just clicking on a sandcastle until your construction is 42. <laughs> Hunting lizards like some kind of buffoon when I could have just hooked a duck and tell fucking 60 Hunter. I just want a thing. I want to pull out a thing. I want to pull out a thing and I want to see what it looks like. Let's see what thing I need to get my dirt box. I had to bring the dirt box. The dirt box is going to be important. I'm archaeologizing. The skill is still in that really weird zone where I don't know if I should do it on screen or off screen. Because it's mostly just watching this blue bar slow up, fill up extremely fucking slowly. But then cool shit happens. So it's like... I want to dial. Hunter begins at level 75 in USK3. Is that herbivore? <laughs> I just want to be able to grab some implings because I think implings are cool and fun. But is that when herbivore comes online? Because Herbivore is straight up the only hunter that I actually give a shit about in old school. Ooh, I'm getting Samite Silk. We're getting different stuff. I wonder if this Ancient Gravel actually has the ability to give me like Samite Silk and White Oak, which are things I don't have. I have birdhouse runs? I guess. I'd, like, I did some birdhouse runs. I had birdhouses sometimes. Birdhouse runs are stupid. Birdhouse runs are like temperos. They're just there to fix the fact that Hunter is dumb and stupid and nobody wants to do it. So you can just, instead of doing it, pile. Oh, you just get these. So like, instead of doing it, you can just not do it. Like clicking on the herbivore thing and then just being done. And just like, or the birdhouse thing and just skipping Hunter entirely. When there's a whole skill bypass. And then, I don't know if RuneScape 3 does the same thing. Because I don't know, I haven't played enough yet, but no. But old school RuneScape seems to address skills that are literally dog shit by just adding a bypass button. Because the old school community, like the fucking poll voters, are so goddamn stupid that they won't vote in, make this skill not suck balls, but they will 100% of the time vote in, give me a button that skips the skill because it sucks balls and I don't want to do it. It's just like, literally, how could you be dumber? But I don't know. Like Temperos, Birdhouses, Winter Toad. Hey, this skill sucks. Instead of fixing it, because that's easy escape, why don't we just add a skip button and just not do the skill? Smart. You got a real big fucking brain in your head, everybody who votes in a fucking old school poll. Risk of Speed likes to add slower AFK levels versus keep an eye and get the prize claim. Yeah, which I have no problem with. I like that I have the option. I can play, uh, like, if I want to look at archaeology stuff, because this right here is a great example. If I'm paying attention, not even like active attention, even if it's on my other monitor while I'm working in Blender or something, I can occasionally just click over and click on wherever the fuck the time sprite went. There's probably another materials card down there, but while I'm up here, I'll just use this one. So for the pylon battery away, it does not. Uh, I can click on time sprite and stay on top of it and get some bonuses. 10% increase, I'm assuming that precision is your odds of actually getting an item or something. So 10% of whatever the fuck that is. Oh, I should get a pneumatic. Can I get a pneumatic? Stillmatic. I should go get a stillmatic. Alcarid has a furnace if I have steel. 
if I have the stuff for steel. Regardless, looking at a furnace will tell me if I have the stuff for it. I want to power up one of these shadow thingies, because it seems like all that needs is batteries. And batteries just come out of the ground. Welcome to Switch.tv slash Squidish. I've never finished a thought in my life. Which has got to be the most infuriating thing in the world to watch. Like, I... I have no idea how anybody survives watching this fucking channel. Because the stream is six hours of me basically doing nothing in a video game or playing something extremely poorly while I just complain about it constantly. And then having a thought, starting it, saying like a ridiculously overlong preamble to the thought that is fully and completely unnecessary, that there is absolutely no reason for me to tangent into, that adds nothing, that adds absolutely nothing on top of just had a saying the thought and then getting distracted before I even get the thought and tangenting off and then starting a different holy fucking separate thought train getting 21% of the way into that and then getting distracted by ooh butterfly and then going off on something completely different I probably finished a total of like 5 to 8 thoughts in an average six hour stream. <laughs> and honestly, that might be highballing it. And that might be highballing it by a lot. I would like to make a steel matoke. Oh yeah, that's the way stuff in here to use it. Steel matoke. You can't plus one on steel. Oh, you can't plus one matokes. Oh, okay. I made an extra thing because I figured I was going to be plus one again, but Maddox just don't get a plus one. I wonder if that is because the mining and smithing work happened after archaeology, or maybe even like very recently after archaeology, and they didn't want to fuck with the balance of a skill they just made. So it's interesting that Maddox don't have plus levels. That's just an interesting thing. He has a lightning strength. I need to make a fucking outfit, chat. But it seems like it's going to be hard. Because every outfit in this game is so comically outlandish. I'm not sure how to ever put two pieces together that are from different outfits. I'm not convinced that's a thing that's possible. Observe. Here are the outfits. So, you know. We're looking at this kind of shit. So, like, you're not gonna mix literally any pieces of this. This is actually just a t-shirt. With, like, any pieces of this. Or any pieces of this. You might be able to put some of these together. These share some colors. I like these pants. These pants are quite cassandra -y. Clear everything. Just give me the pants. And we'll go from there. Because that's actually really fitting. I probably just want to hide this. Capes are stupid. I can have a black cape. I can have a... Whatever the fuck that is. Or I can have a shitty little backpack. I kind of like a shitty little backpack, actually. But like, then from there, what can I possibly do with this other than put the matching chest piece? I don't hate the, like, tabard and the brass. I don't absolutely hate it. He says clearly hating it. But what the fuck am I supposed to do? Look at these goddamn shoulder pads. I could survive the shoulder pads if it wasn't for this giant erect penis strapped to my chest that is, like, literally obscuring my face. And there's some things that you can recolor. If you hold down shift and this shows up, you can recolor it. So theoretically, if I just put on a bunch of shit that I can recolor, why don't I just look at which sets are recolorable? Okay, so not you. Not you. This is literally just 
the fucking gym sweats, but it's recolorable gym sweats. Not surprised you can't. You are recolorable. And honestly, not a fucking bad set, other than the fact that there is a literal seam at your waist because the two pieces don't go together, right? Pieces of this could be valuable. You can recolor this. You can recolor this? What, what, what? How? Oh, the stuff that's black. Ah. Well, you like, you can. You probably shouldn't, but you can. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever, but it's doable. That's almost not awful that you can change the crystals. There is this trash fire. I fucking hate the Iron Man armor in this game. It's so bad. I like a lot of these pieces. A lot of these pieces are cool. The problem is, it looked like this in the in the place where you're picking it, right? And the, the thing on the wiki, the wiki picture when we're looking up the premier reward outfits, it looked like this. It didn't show us that you are like actually just fucking nude from the side and also the back, but you have a cape there. It only looks cool from the front. We got hella fucking scammed on this one. I guess I don't... It's not the worst thing ever, but it's just not, like, what I thought it was. It looks pretty cool from the front. And then these ones are just, like, I imagine super ancient. That probably mostly look bad and, like, they're old school things. Uh, a lot of these ones because they were like zero points. So I was just like, yeah, I'll buy them because they're fucking free and I have pieces in here. All right, we're supposed to be looking at what was recolorable. Uh, not you. I would imagine most of the shitty ones are. Most of the shitty ones are recolorable. Which is a redeeming quality. You know, if you overlook... This has got some very usable pieces. Depending on how it gets recolored. Um, this does in fact make you... It is... You kid, it does not come separate from the lightning skin. Like, it was free. I wasn't gonna not take it. It was fucking free. I don't hate this. Couple got, like, some... Couple got some good pieces in here. But most of the recolorable ones... Generally bad. Okay, let's start going piecemeal. Hypothetically. I really like these. I like these a lot. I could even be convinced to just go Don Guard, Don Guard, and then just have the bottom piece there. What are Crux boots? They're glass slippers. They're literally just glass slippers. Those are recolorable. What happens if I make them? Do they come in like metal color? Actually, super yes. Orange does okay. Um. <laughs> what do we got? Spicy shoes. Rocky shoes. See, nothing goes with anything else. Everything is so hilariously over the top. I don't see how you could ever freaking mix and match anything. Because everything is so absurd. Everything's fucking crazy. That's okay. That's a piece. That's a piece. Okay. So what if instead of committing to like Damn it. Ah, oh, the blue hand. Son of a bitch. Fuck. Ah, oh, there was a dream there. These boots were actually great. There was a there was a solid dream there. Ah. Uh, most I love also jazz hands. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? 
Why do I have radioactive beehives for hands? Why is that an option? Why is that even there? Okay, whatever. Clear this. Clear this one out. Let's go back over here. Can I do anything with this? This is not the worst thing that's ever happened. It's just, like, really bad. If the cloth was the same color as the skirt, it would actually be pretty passable. Fucking, I hate you. This is the piece that technically matches. Why are my why are my arms paper straws? Like this, I like the dervish outfit. Everyone's just like, oh, you'll learn. I'm worried about that, but okay. Why are my arms paper straws? I like the dervish outfit. Minus, oh shit, the arms look. What are we recoloring? We're recoloring the vest. Can I get it the same color as the skirt? No, because you can never make anything fucking match anything. Why? Why does nothing match? What are prismatic? Oh. Okay, you can get a color wheel. Okay. So you need... Hypothetically. It's still not... It's still not it. That's... Okay. So you can do it. I'm assuming this is like a paid cosmetic thing. He's probably just buy with like actual money, unfortunately. Damn it. That's why nothing matches. Nothing matches on purpose. Because it's a microtransaction based game and it's supposed to supposed to piss you off enough to spend money on making anything match anything. What's up, Sea Reaper? How you doing? Is there anything we can make it work with this? Fuck you, idiot. Face gray is close. I hate the paper straw arms, but it's not the worst thing ever. And we can compensate it. Wait, why are there two Crux Aquil gloves and no Conforge gloves? Hello? Where are the Dun- What? Hello? Hello? Where are the Dawn Forged gloves? Excuse me? You broken piece of shit? Why are there two of these? Are they different? They don't fucking look different. Real shit. I really wanted hands. That would match the greaves, because I thought that could kind of salvage this. I really don't... Man, Stormboard Gauntlets could have been so cool. If they were like the feet. If they were like the feet, they would have been great. These are just not gloves. Metafight Ancient Gauntlets is just nothing. Radioactive beehives. Iron Man Gauntlets don't fucking match anything. Are you recolorable, Iron Man Gauntlets? What's recolorable in here? What hands are recolorable? God damn it. Does that affect the hand at all? Yes, actually. Okay, hold on. You might go. <laughs> I hate this. I hate all of this. God, I hate all of this. Is that the best we can do? That's the best we can do to match any part of the outfit? I get it. Why? Why are the Flameheart gloves better Stormborn gauntlets than the Stormborn gauntlets? Why? Why is that the way it is? I hate this. This is infuriating. This is the worst. I guess just bare hands. Cape? I'm gonna hide cape. Because we're going for kind of light armor. Able to catch you live, but I'm loving your runescape three months. Hey, what's up, Pancake Winsplat? 
for the most exciting part of RuneScape 3, which is trying to look like anything. I finally opened this. Oh, man, there's a lot of hats in here now. Look, my, I just want to kind of snap pick this and never look back because like, I'm a hide head slot gamer, but... Dead, you're not selling me on anything against most of the hide head slot. I appreciate you. I don't appreciate Dodge Squad any less. I hate it. <laughs> that is, there's a whole ass dragon on my head! <laughs> what? That's what that is? It's an entire dragon! Why is there an entire dragon on my head? For what reason? <laughs> we're, really, we're really in light armor club. We're in the light armor club. That fits most of the cloth and the outfit. I can't really make anything match the... I want something like I can ideally match the gems on the feet. I want someone to pull the feet in. On fire head. Or else would you put your dragon? I mean, that's fair, I suppose. Not, I can't argue that one. Fair. Matches perfectly. It's just, <laughs> everything's coming together now. Uh. Do I not know what a turban is, or does RuneScape not know what a turban is? Do you recolor, and does it recolor the gemstone? Why? Why is that what recolors? Why is that what recolors? Help me understand. Theatrical hat. Oh, it's just fancy hair with purple at the bottom. I don't hate that. I hate that. That kind of fits, like, the lightly armored thing we have going on. Recolor. Where are we recoloring? Why is it stupid? Ooh. Kind of looks like fucking headphones. <laughs> when you put a bright color on it, it sort of looks like headphones. She's jamming. She's just fucking jamming. She's out here jamming, rocking out, clicking on archaeology deposits. That's just funny enough to take it. What is this? Oh, that means no cosmetic appearance. Up here. Okay. Do I want a weapon? Do I want like a fixed weapon? I love how old school RuneScape these shitty models are. Red Fork. Overwatch weapon. Actually a pretty sick fucking sword. These are from the actual, I think. This, this is actually sick. This is actually sick. I like that. I don't hate it. I mean, I hate it, but like... <laughs> I do... I, I, that's, uh, let me rephrase. I do hate it, but I hate it less. <laughs> Progress. It's a terrible, terrible progress. This is a sin against God. In all cases. How do I make this into a pre uh, preset? How do I make this a preset? This, the fact that this doesn't light up, I want to, like, make this 
for now, reset one. How the fuck do I do that? Ah. Reset one. I'm gonna rename it. Not the worst thing ever, but was. And it truncates the not the worst thing ever. But, so, you know, it gets a pass both ways. Okay, will they go on my back? That's actually kind of cool. I'm going on my back. It's kind of neat. All right. We have created a sin. We've, <laughs> God's light has left us. This is, this is me now. This is unfortunately where we've landed. Is this worse than just looking at full mithril? Probably. Yeah, I might want to just hide head slut. You're not wrong. The hair is neat, but it makes it not look like Cass anymore. You're right. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. I think we just want to be Cass. True. Yeah, I'll just, you're right. I'm the fucking, I'm a hide head slot gamer. I just didn't want to immediately go to hide head slot because immediately go to hide head slot is what I do in 100% of situations. In every video game that's ever been made, I go directly to hide head slot. I wanted to at least give it a chance, but you're right. It doesn't even look like Cassandalee anymore. Like, we're no longer the character. We're just like a RuneScape microtransaction demon. <laughs> All right. It was steel matic. What difference does that make? None, apparently. I don't I don't fucking know. Am I getting one XP faster? I might be getting one XP faster. I'm glad it kept our progress, by the way. I'm glad this didn't reset. I was not I should have thought about that. Oh yeah, there's a material scar right here, okay. Probably make sure that we're not gonna have that problem. The materials wagon is right the fuck next to it. That's fine. I want to see what comes out of this shit. I don't want to be sad because I don't have any of the things I need. I wonder if I should just be pushing these buttons. Because he made it sound like I should get the dial first. But I can interact with a lot of this shit. I wonder if I'm just supposed to start playing with it. And I'm dumb. But we'll see what comes out of this. We'll restore it. We'll see what that is. And see if it's, you know, button four for the magical Zamorak door. You, mu you just fucking sit here for five seconds. I didn't assist any of the batteries. How many batteries would you like to charge the pylon with? Two. Okay. <laughs> Check charge pylon. 14 points. Wow, okay. That's the fact that that goes into double digit decimals. Um, tells me that that is a long term project. And the fuck? Tetra compass piece left? Finding all kinds of cool shit. Okay, we're getting cool shit now. It's not just like you get a Venetian dagger, you get a Fettuccine dagger. You get, we get batteries. We're getting tetra compass pieces. I really just wanted the headpiece to match the greaves, but the stormborn greaves are solid. They have a tetra compass piece. They have a left and old tetra compass. Examine. Where does it point to? I imagine I probably need a tetra compass piece right before we can put that one together. Well, okay, we're gonna do a scientific experiment. Check charge. 15.43. I would like to put one battery in this. This is the, the worst trade deal. Possibly in the history of trade deals. Maybe ever. You've been scammed. I've been robbed. And quite frankly, I have been hoodwinked. Dogs. 
God fucking damn it. Bamboozled, I say. Bamboozled. To the utmost. These hooligans have worked some trickery. I regret this. <gasps> That's the last I have to say on the matter. With a firm oof, I've kind of wrapped up everything there. All right, give me the piece. I want to know. Give me the thing. We're almost to the thing. What is the thing? And is it a dial or something? Is it going to be a magical or a regular? It doesn't. I guess the dial does not have to be inherently magical. It just has to, like, fit onto this mechanism, which is just, you know, engineering. Which is sometimes difficult to distinguish from magic. It's not. It's just, like, regular, just, like, normal engineering. Give me the thing. What's the thing? I want to see what the thing is. Thing me. Fucking thing me. Thingus my dingus. I regret that saying. I would like it stricken from the Zerosian training dummy. I don't think that's a piece of a dial. I don't think the Zerosian training dummy is going to... I don't think that's going to connect with the dial. I don't think that's how that's going to work. I want to pop this off. On a pylon battery placed at your feet. I just on a pylon battery to throw that shit on the floor. <laughs> it's garbage. Fuck this. I don't want a fucking pylon battery. Okay, so getting. And pylon batteries. This is like something incredibly horrible. We need third age iron and white oak. Neither of which I have. This guy would like. Zeros have a G and Zeros training dummy. Okay, I'm gonna start pushing buttons now. Fix broken dial. How many fixes? Push smoke button. Ah. I see. I found the problem. I have... I have found the problem. I'd like to identify the problem. I think I've realized where we're going wrong here. Definitely somewhere around not having the third button. We said the big and the mounds. What about these? I mean, these mounds? Prime, Primus Elementus Standard Legionary Gladius Leg Legionary Shield. missing so this inspect that's three of these this has two of these so this little circle right here has everything I need to get unexpected diplomacy relic power minus the Legatus Maximus figurine and a painting how we're gonna uncover a painting from an archaeological dig site and it's going to be in any way functional? I don't fucking know. The blood dial and the carrot. Well, I guess I'll go pick that up then. What? What does a blind playthrough mean to you, API dev? What is the, the blind command, like the words that come up Oh, we're making a clue joke. Oh, uh, like clue like the board game. I get it. I get it. Yeah, you see how that definitely just sounded like instructions though? All right, I've been baited. Well, well baited. Well baited.
It definitely just seems more like an answer to a question than a clue reference, but I now see where you were going with that. I see where your head was at. Um, we're on the same page now. We got to the same wavelength. We're in there. Okay, white oak is good. I need white oak. I need third age iron. I don't know if I... Was this place up here third age iron? What are these little holy diggers? That's imperial steel. I don't know if I can get... Third age iron. I know they have... Those are... The, oh, those are the previous things. Imperial steel's the thing from outside. Now I get, like, a resource deposit for the lower tier thing. Oh, that was a fucking pile. How are the shield domes surrounding Karen? Why? Why would we want to turn on a fucking shield dome? What does that accomplish for us? What the fuck would we want to... Sh I thought it was going to, like, turn on to Uber Diggerator, and we were just going to be, like... Super diggers. These have a little torchy icon next to them. Is that a quest icon? Master John0420, thanks for the follow. I feel like that might be a quest icon. Because all these quests have icons. But I can't search by fucking icon. look at the map i guess i could like utilize the fact that i possess a map hold on mapper this is apparently a prison block ah that's where this goes these are agility shortcuts uh, agility icon on the wall what's this Take 60 divination, 58 archaeology. It's also definitely not the right icon. Um, and none of these look like that icon. What world do you want? I don't fucking know. How do I? How do I tell? How do I tell? I understand the concept of of multiple worlds. I have no idea how to tell what world I'm currently on. Are we even getting third age iron from this? I assume it'd be in here somewhere. Top worlds. I'm on 252. You wanna come dig a hole on world 252? I'm digging a hole on world 252. I need 16 of these motherfuckers. I'm not even close. Holy crap. I'm not even close to this. I need six. I thought I needed like two. I'm so far off of it. Yeah, we are getting third age iron. Okay, we gotta look. We gotta look and see if there's a material deposit. Now we gotta get keep digging, keep digging, just keep digging a fucking hole. So the thing I was missing was that you can only get the venator daggers and the crossbows outside, which is kind of what I thought. On account of it tells you that, but I'm stupid and don't know anything. But I didn't want to... Obviously, I didn't want to come through that fort door off stream. I wanted to play... I cleared the fort door, so we have to sit here and watch blue bar. Because I wanted to make sure that when I was streaming, we could sit here and watch this blue bar fill up, which is a different blue bar. I might want to finish this excavation bar dig survey thing. And then go outside. Because outside only gives you zero C insignia and third age iron, and this also gives me a bunch of white oak and samite silk, and I need third age iron. I don't think there's any material deposits or just third age iron, not that I know of. This is a really exciting blue bar. This blue bar could be anything. It could be a Zerosian training dummy, or it could be the other thing that's not a Zerosian training dummy. It could be anything. Another beach event. Trust. I have draw parallels between the numbers on this page and the things that you can level at the beach event. <laughs> I have I have been I have I have been to the beach. I have hooked many a duck. 
want to do some fucking crime is what I want to do. Non-stop beach. There is only beach. Go to the beach. <laughs> Stop giving me not iron. I know it's only 25. I don't feel like it's a 25, 25, 25 divide because I feel like I'm getting basically zero Samite Silk. So they feel like I'll have their own occurrence chat chance. It seems like it's mostly insignias and oak. I should go outside. Once I fill this up, I want to go outside. I hope we're going to get not another Xerosian training dummy. Okay, cool. We got a different thing. So we have both the things in this hole now. What do you need? You could just slam this and then I could actually come back down here. I can do that, actually. I can do that immediately. Solid? If we do that and then come straight... Okay, so there's Imperial Steel. Imperial Steel. Samite Silks are upstairs. Irian Purple? I don't know what the fuck that is. These things don't show up on the map. I have to, like, actually find them with my eyes. By my eyes, I mean my mouse. First Purple Ball? That leads to a shadow anchor. I have one battery though. I don't know what shadow anchors do. I've only ever had like four batteries and I shoved all of them in this pylon because I wanted to see what the fuck it did. It makes your batteries go away is what it does. Um, I think down here is clearly much higher level stuff. I doubt I'll be able to use any of this even if there was a material cache of some kind. But also I don't see one. I just see ancient travel. Oven. Study the oven. Ancient V. Let's just take 96. 25, actually. Okay. I was... Oh, I saw a material cache. Maybe it was just that one, but I think I hovered over a different one. Maybe it was just ancient... I swear to God, I just hovered over a different material cache. Oh, uh, materials car might have been what I saw. Okay, let's go... Fix this. Why are you training archaeology? Because it's neat. What the fuck do you mean? Why? Because <laughs> it's because it's cool and I just got down here. And I want weird superpowers and the strange rock. And I want to see what putting batteries in this shit does. And I want the dial and you know any any combination of all of those things really. It's neat. I have no clue what archaeology does. Other than uh, it does make it make blue bar full and then you do thing. Probably time also for me to go looking through my sand. Curious if that sand will give me other things. Real cash, I kill this workbench. That rose effigy. Brush that shit off. Blow on it. Hold it up over your head victoriously. 25 archaeology. Solid. Okay. Menestratum debris, ancient V, Tyrian purple, seal of the Prefectus Praetorio. Stop. I'm gonna put all my dirt in a bucket. You do. You need to be restored. Ah! I'm going to put that in my bank. <laughs> I think that's going to be a minute. Okay. That is not a do now. That is a... That is a do someday. It's definitely not a do now kind of thing. Really glad I bother putting the sand in the screening thing. So I can get like... Two more pieces of crap. <laughs> Why do I do this? Does anybody else do? Do you guys just throw the dirt on the ground? Because I'm starting to think it would be strictly better to just throw the dirt on the ground. Because this, as far as I can tell, unless there's like unique things that only come out of filtering dirt, this is exactly the same as working on an archaeology dig, but you're not making progress towards an artifact. 
you still get basically no XP. You get very little material. I really don't even honestly feel like you're getting material faster than you would be just continuing to work at the dig site. Give me a lot of exactly the stuff that I need, though, so that's good. I guess it's good if you need the material that comes out of the dirt. I need the material that comes out of the dirt. The material that comes out of the dirt is 30 giant. It can be 13. This is giving a lot of iron. It gave us the six iron that we needed. Unfortunately, we just spent a bunch of shit on the other thing, so uh, we might still be up shit creek on that one. We'll see. I think I now. I think ironically now I'm gonna need white oak. Is what's gonna happen? Like we. Oh, we can do everything. <gasps> Workbench. Perfect. I think I'll be able to do that. Push it off. Blow on it. Hold it up like fucking Rafiki. Game. Okay, now we're fucking gaming. Stummy likely used the Drill Legionaries within the Castra. Are fashioned after what appear to be Thonian demons. Being the Th Thonians are also citizens of the Zerosian Empire, the styling comes across as an odd choice. Finally, we have discovered an icon of the Empty Lord himself. No such icons have been discovered at the Varrock dig site, so we're lucky with how well-preserved Karid Et is. Karid et is just sounds like a longer title. Like there's the Karid et and then there's the Karid et is. You feel me? You feel me? Okay, that's enough archaeology. No, we did good. We got two artifacts. Doing good progress. Now that I've opened up that vault, I have a bunch of places that I can work on digging, and I can just get stuff together for later. That vault was like the missing link. Good shit. I had somebody to consult my map. Because I don't know these days where I can find a stove close to a bank. I had to find a stove close to a bank. Asidius doesn't exist. I'm going to have to Hasidi go fuck myself. Getting a lot of funny money. That's cool. All right, map. There's a stove near a bank. That's not terrible. We can do better. I'm sure we can do better. I want a bank that's like butt fucking a stove. I want to be making sweet love to each other. Somewhere. That's not bad. I think Al Karid's the current winner. Al Karid looks like it's pushing hard for a dub here. This is not called um whatever the fuck it's called in old school. This is this is just called Sanguinesti region. Darkmire. This is not called Darkmire. It's not on the map. Oh what the fuck? This is a totally different place. There's, like, stuff down here. Like little islands and shit. Maybe I got a gif. I'm an iron man. Oh, hello. Is it, is it a bond? If it's not a bond, I don't think I can take it. I'm an iron man. <laughs> I made bad decisions. But I started on a hardcore iron man. But I appreciate you. You are a cool dude. I just hate good decision making. Catherby. Ooh. Catherby. is a good place. I'm gonna go to Catherby. I wish I could put names over people's head in this game like Runelight does. Because I can't tell. Like when people, like your name obviously would have matched. I should put the, uh... Oh, I should put the clan chat thing on screen somewhere. I should put it, like, right above my action bars or something. Let me, let me put the clan chat on screen. 
have a thing for that. I have already a source from the other scene. I have head chat, land chat? Yes, that's way too fucking big. And also it looks like dog shit. But if I put it here, it just sits on top of my action bars. Like so. Is that it makes people's dots purple at least? I'm pretty sure that's what makes people's dots purple. But I can like tell. What color are these? That is Baba00 zero zero and AA6800. Okay. So color the first. Select color. X code. Baba00. Zero zero. And then it is AA2600. Also turn the gradient on. God damn it, I have to re-enter the thing. Why would you reset it? Come on. It just put a color in that field. That's not right. That's way too orange. It's way too fucking orange. 6,800 is what it was, not 2,600. Come on, uniformity. Professionalism. There we go. Not too big. Not too big, Chet. And I could probably hit like one of these that I can move my face to like one of these. How's that? How's that? How we looking? How we feeling? Give me your thoughts. I feel like I have improved the overlay. But I'm not like... You can't fucking bank these? What the fuck? I have to get 10 of these in one go to get with them shadow seals? Well then, I will cook with 27 inventory slots. This is the correct answer here. I will cook with 27 inventory slots. And I will go back there after stream... And I will just beat the shit out of the ground until I receive batteries so I can see what the fuck they do. <laughs> the common enough you can just drop them. No! I was gonna fucking drop them. I'm gonna do more archaeology I stream and I'm gonna get fucking 10 of them so we can get on and see what the fuck the shadow thingy does. So I can put them all in there and then the shadow thing can say it's 2.19% charged. <laughs> or something. Just drop them. Just drop them, he says. They're just magical archaeology batteries. Just throw them on the fucking floor like the garbage they are. They're specifically... Okay, they're, ooh. That's actually really interesting. The fact that they're carried at specific is interesting. Because that means every dig site is probably going to have some cool shit going on. I don't know what kind of cool shit. But it's gonna be some cool shit. Am I crazy or is cooking actually slower in this game? I feel like cooking is slower. But it might just be that cooking was never fast. That's my secret. It was always slow as fuck. Hey! I can make a chocolate Saturday. Hey, that's the hardcore Iron Man friend of mine. <laughs> chocolate Saturday. Okay. Well, I got a good place to cook. I got a good place to cook over here. Sorry, I clicked the game for a second. I got a good place to cook and set up. Speaking of cooking, I should probably go figure out dinner. If uh, Bryn is not, not already, like, abandoned hope. And either just like shriveled up into a ball under her desk and died. Or is just like raking through the cupboards for edible dry goods like some kind of raccoon. I should probably go do the dinner situation. I don't know the weird start on stream today. You know, so you've been here the entire time. That was a fucking situation. But you know, we do what we can. Tomorrow is a group idiot man. 
I'll cook all these and then work on some more archaeology stuff off stream. So maybe next time. I think I have now unlocked like the concept of archaeology. I think we're in there now. So I think I'll be able to just get a bunch of stuff and then clean it all up and do the cool things on stream. It also seems like most regular relics, I could just clean up and give them to someone. They don't fucking matter. They don't do anything fancy. They're just, that's the gameplay loop. I'm not going to finish a turn-in set for someone. And I'm not going to, like, charge up the pylons of the shadow batteries or anything. Up that I don't know what the hell it's going to do off screen. 